How are we doing? You all right? Hello, everyone. You all okay? Happy? Um, Graham Barrow's here today. <laughs> <laughs> We thought we'd Been switch it up a bit, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Getting tired by the minute. <laughs> so, um, Ollie, we'll start with the club video and then we'll move on. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Uh, Graham, goalless here in the FA Cup against uh, Newport County. What were your thoughts on that one? Um, well, the, I, I usually think the poor performance will get you the result, and unfortunately today the performance didn't. He got his A result, but not obviously what we were looking for. But... Um, from the kind of day everybody's had at the football club, I thought, to be fair to lads like this, you know, you, you, I was worried at first and then I thought, sort of knew when we started, thought we were going to be all right. So that's credit to them, really. You know, it, it has been difficult for everybody, but, you know, it shows the character of the team. And uh, I don't think you would know, the, you know, who was the league team, who was, who was the non-league team, so... And I would say we probably look more, and, and considering how well they're doing, you know, they've paid us a lot of respect and uh, we did likewise. Uh, you mentioned uh, the performance, you know, a couple of inches away, I think, and a, a couple of great saves from being in the third round proper. Yeah, that's just, I wouldn't say the difference because obviously they kicked kick the ball off the line, but I think we saw against Orient last week, they got that sort of chance and it was in the net and the flash, so... We know that's a, a bit of a Achilles heel to us, and uh, but you know when lads hit the target, which is which is the most uh, you know most important thing. Can't really argue. I couldn't really fault anybody in that sense, but uh, just a pity we didn't get the result because of the support it was fantastic when it was a, a real felt it felt like a real cup tie night to me, like you know. Fourth in League Two against uh, fourth in the National League, but in terms of the quality, it was very few and far between, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought we played the more composed football, like in in long spells, and you know people like uh, like Mark Carrington, who went from left back to midfield, showed it shows absolute quality. He's like got a football brain, probably above the level he's playing at the moment. But we see Brad Walker. We've got good footballers. Um, we just got to keep searching for that uh, finishing touch. But can't fault the two lads up front who really put themselves at you know you know. And obviously the back lads have been. Absolutely superb. I think we just, apart from when they made the, you know, the young sub who came on from who was obviously lively, uh, he was a major threat. There was no threat before that. Yeah, you look at, um, in terms of Newport, the front, uh, front two that started have got 19 goals between them this season, but uh, in terms of their attack, kept them quite quiet. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but that's, you know, the, I mean, I, I obviously had seen uh, Sean Pearson like over last season, and but He's immense, you know, off the field, uh, in the dressing room, but on the field he's immense and uh, he's, he's obviously my type of guy and, and the rest join in, he, he, is, uh, he is a credit really and we're lucky to sort of inherit that, you know, that, that was the, the sound base obviously that they did quite well last year, so, but they're good lads and, uh, you know, they, they've responded to uh, everybody today and that's all you could ask for. Uh, you go to a replay, perhaps not the most uh, ideal situation, but it's a huge opportunity, isn't it, to get into that third round now? Yeah, I think the interesting thing is, is always for me, I, like I've been in replays before uh, with Wigan when we actually, when we did actually go and win it, we played Bournemouth at home and we played a weekend team, come out with a draw, they went down there and won. I think when, once the draw's made, they, they, if it's the right sort of draw, then that's the pull, obviously, it's then... It becomes like a, almost like a boxing match. It's not so much like you're playing away from home. It's more you've got so much to play for. You know, it, it, it sort of can throw a real, real excitement to, to, to the game. Really. Uh, you've mentioned obviously it's been a difficult day. Um, you've come in, you've in the dugout. Perhaps not something we expected uh, for this weekend. Um, it, it's, it's been a tough one today, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh, it's a bit sad that it got to that really. You know, and then you just realise. You know, I've been been there before. I mean, I did it three times at Wigan in the in the championship and that. And uh, you know, when you know, at the end of the day, I, I worked for the club, and you know, the club had been good to me. When I was asked to take the game, I'd never thought for one minute to, to turn the, the opportunity down because you know it, that's the thing to do. You know that I've been really pleased since I came here. You know, obviously a big decision in the summer, um, but. It, 
the passion about the club has always impressed me when I come and watched and obviously played here. So um, that was only too pleased, but just wish it was different circumstances, really. I guess the circumstances do change, but it's the same objective for you guys now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, just keep keep trying to win football matches and, and, and you know, see what happens this week, but get the lads ready for, obviously, Eastleigh, who are obviously uh, you know, the, the next opponents, but, you know, the, you see the last few weeks, there's, you know, a big crowd last week, big crowd today, I mean, it doesn't get any better, does it, really, so that's what, that's what I've always been in the game for, and it's what, what makes it makes it tick for me. Yeah, word on the supporters, uh, unbelievable atmosphere both before the match and during, wasn't it? Yeah, fantastic. I mean, that's, I think that's the biggest lift that uh, the players could ever ever want for. It's what you really want to be in front of. You know, and I haven't really, uh, even though I've obviously been about, I haven't really experienced that. Uh, apart from, you know, Wigan sometimes in, in the Premier League, but that was mainly like uh, against the odds sort of thing. You know, um, where they, they they would cheer. Anything really, because uh, you know it was really tough. But no, here th this deserves, you know, to keep going and keep pushing, and uh, we'll certainly do that. What can you tell the supporters? Um, well, only I mean, what's happened today is that obviously it is basically asked not 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 to uh, attend the game. So, you know, once that happened and once I was asked to do it, you know, we then had to get on with the game. So. I think that is now for either now or, or tomorrow for the the board and Sam to get their heads together and see what, what comes out of it. Have you spoken to Sam? Um, only briefly this morning. Um, just I told him, I, you know, I, I was wrong first and then I rang him to tell him I was doing the game. Did, just he, to, did he indicate to you that he is going to Shrewsbury? No, he didn't actually. Uh, probably more... More indecisive, really, if, if I'm being honest. But that's you know that's going to be between him here and uh, Shrewsbury. If it doesn't happen and he doesn't go to Shrewsbury, is it going to be difficult for him to, to come back here, given the statement that was put out from the club today, saying that it would be inappropriate for him to be here at this game tonight? No, is there no way back? That's what I'm trying to say. I think there's always a way back, but it's quite a, a unique situation. I haven't really come across it that much before. Uh, managers have been sacked sometimes and then maybe gone back and but I don't know really I mean um, there's not a lot of really I can say at this moment in time but but you just you know fingers crossed that whatever happens it, it's the right decision for everybody to go to the club many of the supporters seem quite upset um, on our phone and um, some of them were quite angry do you think Sam could have approached it in a better way or or not well, I'm being brutal, I don't really know enough about the circumstances, so, um, you know, what had gone on between Sam and, and the board here, so, um, I think things in football could always be handled better, there's not many times you think, you know, uh, you know that's the right way, but it's nearly always the wrong way, you know, I've been on, on the other end of it, like, so, um, I'm sure we need, it needs to be addressed quickly, and I'm sure they will do. Which is funny for me. I know Sam has been very complimentary about you as a sounding board and bringing that experience to, to him as a young manager. If there is uh, a situation where he goes to Shrewsbury, would you be tempted to go with him if he asked? Um, I don't think that's a possibility, to be honest. Um, I've, I've always tended to be... Uh, I'm, I'm not quite... It's one of them with me. I, I, I go in to do something and I usually fin finish it off. I'll get finished off myself. <laughs> so, so if there is a vacancy here would you be interested in, in succeeding Sam Ricketts as manager um, I've spoken to the, briefly to the board I would rather work as a member of staff you know that's, I think I, I've helped a uh, few managers Rossler and Gary Caldwell and people like that and I, I sort of enjoy that role in, but I have to be sort of allowed to work if, if you understand what I mean, you know. So uh, we'll just wait and see. Thanks very much, Greg. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers Greg. Thank you. Right. Okay. Any further Thanks. questions? Are we done? Thank you very much, everyone. Right, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, G. Right, yeah. Yep. Yeah.